And good morning. Welcome to Christian Liberty Homeschools. Today's topic, the importance of scripture memorization. The importance of scripture memorization. Psalm 119, verse 11, familiar portion of scripture. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. When we think of the access that God's people had to Scripture in comparison to what we have today, in part we understand why Scripture memorization was so important. We take for granted our easy access that we have to God's Word, and indeed it is an incredible blessing. But the memorization of Scripture should not be discounted, even though we are so blessed to have God's Word readily available been reading a, a very fascinating book, The Insanity of God by Nick Ripkin. Uh, he writes under a pen name because of the sensitivity of the material uh, that he shares dealing with the persecuted church. In, in this book, he recounts his travels in Russia and the interviews, that the time that he was able to spend with those who lived through the difficult days of the Soviet Union. And he writes about an account of three pastors in the 1950s who organized an event in Moscow where all the unmarried young people ages 18 through 30 in various house churches were brought together for a week. And this week-long meeting in Moscow brought together almost 700 young believers. As you can imagine, there was a price to pay for this. The, the three organizing pastors after this event were arrested and sentenced to three years in prison. During this time, they determined to see how much scripture these young believers could recall. I quote from the book, every day this week, we want you to gather in small groups and we want to see how much of the four New Testament Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you know and have memorized. In your groups, see how much of the Gospels you can recreate, and then do the same thing with songs and hymns. Let's see how much of that can be reproduced by memory. At the end of the conference, when they compared and combined the efforts of all the different small groups, the young people had recreated all of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, with only a half dozen mistakes, they had also recreated the lyrics of more than 1,200 songs, choruses, and hymns of the faith from memory. What an amazing testimony for these young believers at a very difficult time. But Nick Ripkin then met with the grandchildren of the three pastors who organized this event, and he asked, how much scripture now do the young people in their churches now know? Again, quoting from the book, I didn't want to put them on the spot or embarrass them by asking how much of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John they might be able to quote. So I asked them how many different stories from the Gospels they could think of and list. They came up with a handful. How many books of the Bible can you name? I asked. Only a few, they said. I don't know if those young people were embarrassed by their responses to my questions. I did see, however, what the Russian church had lost in its first decade a freedom. That was a convicting part of this book, The Insanity of God. We have been given so much. Would we really be ready if we were called to suffer? Again, we, we have been given so much by our gracious God, and, and we memorize scripture not to think highly of ourselves, not simply to try to win contest, but the importance of God's word in our hearts. Let's, let's be encouraged to do that for ourselves and as much as we can to encourage our children to memorize God's word. May it be a blessing to us. Friends, we are blessed to serve you. Visit homeschools.org to learn more about our homeschooling program. May the Lord richly bless and keep you.